Good morning, my yarny friends. All of you out there who are as passionate about yarn and crochet as I am, welcome back to my channel. If you're a subscriber, and hopefully we'll get some new ones. My name is Isla Brown, and my channel name is Brown Owls Crochet Fun. And that's what crochet is to me, fun. Um, I just want to talk a little bit on a serious note about some of the nasty stuff that's been going on. Um, Crochet A, Pe um, Sandy and Kerry um, uh, down the yarny hole. Or the, is that her name? Down the, uh, anyway, there's been some nastiness uh, being um, placed on their emails, YouTube channels, whatever. All I want to say is, if you can't say something nice, please don't say anything at all. We don't need negativity on this site. We are all friends, we've got each other's back, and we'll continue to support each other through thick and thin. So if any of you trolls out there are hearing this, please just switch off. If you don't like what you see, don't watch it. It's as simple as that. If it's of no interest to you, why are you watching in the first place? Come on, get a life. Okay, back to some yarny stuff. Uh, first, I want to show you some works in progress. Now, uh, the main one that I have to get finished very soon, and I'm almost there, is my princess blanket, Cinderella blanket. So as you can see, I've got the frills attached here, got the sleeves caps on, almost got the bottom done, and then in here, we'll go some more frilly bits. So I'll get that finished within the next couple of days. I think the little girl's birthday is on the 15th of September. So I should have it done without any trouble. So that's my priority. Uh, next priority is for September Yarn Bingo. Uh, Lama Mama Kayla has put out another one. I'm glad to see she was able to do a video herself to tell us about it. So one of the things on there is a hat in fall colors. So I'm working on this one. Um, this is the one that Jada uh, put up last week. It's the primrose hat. Um, so I'm hoping that this will fit me. I think it will. I tried it on around my head and it seems to be going to be a good size. So that's the other one I've got to finish. Uh, what else? Oh, I've got my, almost finished my blanket here. This one is uh, the one that I started, Falling Leaves Stitch. Uh, it's a Jada blanket and it's almost done, just about. And I think what I'm going to do is put the border on with this white. So it doesn't matter what sex the baby is. Um, any baby, I have no, none in mind for this. I'm just waiting for somebody to tell me they need a baby blanket and this one will be ready to go. So that's that. Now, the other thing I want to get finished, oh, that's another baby blanket, that's not important. What's this one? Ah, this is the, this is the one I really want to get finished. I promised my grandson, Mac, a blanket of his own. I did one for my grandson, Jones. So I started this one quite a while ago, last winter probably, um, and it's just two strands, a thick, like a, a four weight and a three weight or a two weight, whatever I happen to have, scraps. And I just, I'm doing that, and I think I'm doing it in, I think it's the half double crochet, but I'll figure that out when I get back to it. So this one will be for my grandson Mac, just to throw on his bed when he's here. So that has definitely got to be one of my priorities. Uh, no more faffing it off, leaving it and start something else. Got to get to it. Uh, talking of getting to it, I, let me stretch over here. Uh, I showed you last time that I plan on doing this Fletcher the Fox. I have all the yarn. I bought it in Scotland when I was on vacation. 
So if you remember, it's this beige color and the black, of course, for uh, the paws. And I have lots of white in the house, so I can just add that to it. That will be getting done, but it's not going to be a priority right at the moment. Um, okay, let me see. What else did I do? Oh, okay. I think that's all for works in progress that I want to share with you. I have lots more. Don't, don't think I don't, because I do. I uh, have so many, I'm embarrassed to bring them all out at once. Uh, but I made a commitment to myself that I'm going to get at least some of them finished. I have to anyway, so that I can check off some of these these squares in the September yarn bingo. As you can see, there's quite a few finished work in progress. Finish a work in progress. Finish a work in progress. Finish a work in progress. So hopefully I'll be able to check at least some of those ones off this month. Uh, now let's go on to finished objects. I don't have very many. In fact, I only have, and they're not quite finished because I don't have the buttons on. This one, purple one I showed last week. Um, cowl, I'm just gonna add the buttons to it. Then I did this one and I got it finished. And again, I've got buttons to add to it. So I have these ones and I think those will go really well with that. They're kind of a, a wood thing. So I need three for that. And then I brought, bought these colorful ones and I don't know whether to put those on the purple one, just one of each color, maybe, I don't know. I'll place them and see how they look and then decide which ones I'm gonna sew on um, so that that can be completely finished. Uh, so I've done my finished objects. Acquisitions, oh well, now let me see. First, I wanna share this. I bought this pattern in Canto Wrap, and this is by Crochet Luna. It's a brand new pattern that she just put out. Z and Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter, both worked on it for her to test it, and it turns out beautifully. Now, it's in fingering yarn, and you know me in fingering, I'm not 100% sure I want to do it in fingering. I might do it in three, size three, but um, I really would like to take the leap and do it. Now, it's I'm afraid it's gonna be down the bottom of my list of things to do, but it's so beautiful I could not resist. I had to have a, a copy of it. So if and when I start that, you guys will be the first to know. If and when I finish it, you will also be the first to know. Uh, what other acquisitions did I get? Oh, I have to move a bit, a bit here, just a second. Can't reach it without scratching. Okay, I was watching um, Becca, Mama Hodge crochet, <laughs> crochet and Crafts making some stitch markers and I thought, ooh, I think I would like to try that. So I sent off to Amazon for some stuff to, to do it. It came the other day. And what came, or what I ordered was, let's see, this over here. So I got the toolkit that I will need. Hopefully everything is in here that I will need. There's pliers and little tweezers and, what could help if I showed it to you. Uh, all, all these little things that I possibly will need to make these stitch markers. I also ordered some numbers uh, because I want to put the size of the crochet hook that they're using as a reminder so that people can go back and not have to worry about wondering what size was I using. I got some beads. Unfortunately, the ones I ordered are very small, so I'm not sure that I'll use them, but I do like the color, so maybe I'll just, you know, double them up, two or three on it. And of course I got some uh, the pins, things that you need and the hooks and the clasps and various other things that I understand I will need to make these. I also got a bag of charms and it's just a variety. So what I pull out is what will be put on the stitch marker. I went to Michael's and I found some wooden beads. I thought those might 
be nice as well, together with some of those little colored ones. They might make uh, a nice stitch marker. Now I haven't started. Um, it's going to be one of these things that, you know, when I get a few minutes, ha, 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 I will make an attempt to uh, do this. Whether it'll work out or not, I don't know. But nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'll put those away for a minute, just a second. And the other acquisition I got from um, Amazon again is this book that a lot of people have been showing. Um, uh, there's a lot of cute little animals in there. And I'm sure once my grandsons get their eyes on this, they'll want something specific from it. Um, but there's, uh, well, let me see, some of them, the ones that jump out at me. Uh, okay, I know there's an owl in here, so that's gonna be one of them that I start. Probably be the first one I do. If I can find it. Oh, Alex the alligator. Okay, I think they're in alphabetical. Yes, they are in alphabetical order. So let's go to the O's and see if that one was an owl. Ah, penguin. Penguin. Oh, there we go. Here's the owl. So that'll be the first one I do. So there's a little brown owl just for me. Then the boys can choose which they want. So that was my other acquisition. Um, I also picked up, I picked up a lot of free patterns when I was at Walmart the other day. You know those ones that are up by the, the, the yarn and you just pull it off. So I got gloves, a nice throw, baby blanket, um, pot holders, and one for a pillow. Oh, there's one more. And another baby blanket. So those will just go in my binder and someday I will get to making them. Maybe. Okay, let's see what else we've got on my little list of things here. Uh, I want to show this. Yarn is life. I forgot to mention this. This came in the package that uh, Z uh, sent to me for being a, a name that she drew out of a competition. Um, so I, I showed everything the last on the last video. So if you want to go back and see that, you, you can. But I forgot to mention the pen, so I promised her I would mention it this time. Um, we were, or I was thinking about, you know, the cost of mailing. I don't know about it in the States, or uh, in, in, but I do know in Britain that it's a lot cheaper than it is here in Canada. Um, I went and mailed off some packages the other day. And I sent one to Alaska and one to Ontario. Now, the one to Alaska was cheaper than the one to Ontario. So I said to the postmistress, I said, how come it's cheaper to send mail to the States than it is here within Canada? And she just smiled. She says, everybody asks that, she said. But what it is, is the cost of the flights, the air transportation. It costs more to send things by air in Canada than it does to the States. So if you're sending something by air mail in Canada, it's gonna cost a lot more than uh, sending it to the States. So that gives me pause because as much as I want to give uh, or do giveaways, um, the cost of the mailing far outweighs the cost of what's in the package. So I'm, I'm really considering maybe just um, sending something through Amazon as a prize. Let me know what your thoughts on that are. Um... There are so many new podcasters. Have you guys been checking them out? They're just coming out the woodwork. It's amazing. What I do is I subscribe to names that I don't recognize on other people's uh, videos in the comments section. Um, so I'll click on and see if I've already subscribed to them, then good. If not, I will um, do, make, do a subscription to them. Now, obviously, well, uh, but let me tell you, I've got 203 channels that I'm subscribed to, and only two of them are non-crochet. So it's virtually impossible to uh, watch everybody's video, every video that they put up. So I, I try to uh, catch as many as I, as I see. Um, I, I will try uh, catching some of the newer ones, uh, and if they are... Uh, if they really catch my interest and I, I want to see more, then I will uh, add them to the list of the, the ones that I, I view regularly. As it is at the moment, what I'm viewing really regularly are 
Linda, just a crochet sister, she's a sweetheart. She's got such a kind heart, kind soul. <coughs> Excuse me. Crochet A, Sandy. Nanny's Nook, Laurie. Uh, Dolly Face Knits, Camille. She's one I just found recently. And the first video I watched with her, she would not go on camera. Uh, su subsequently, she has come on camera and she's such a pretty girl and so fun. She's a happy, happy-go-lucky and I smile all the time uh, as I'm watching her. Uh, Joe's Webb, she's another one that makes me smile. She has some amazing, um, what do you call them? Uh, an animation things that she puts up. Uh, I don't know if she's the expert in the family that does that or if she has some help, but good on whoever it is that's doing it. Uh, left is right crochet, another Sandy. Sandy, that Sandy is a down to earth lady, uh, uh, a, a soul after my own heart. She is uh, upfront, says what she, she thinks and makes no apologies about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Lisa's crochet. Lisa uh, lives in Canada and she is a riot. Um, the, the, the talking between her and her husband when she's doing the videos is quite funny sometimes. Lisa gave me a great shout out um, a few weeks ago and my numbers jumped enormously. Which brings me to my numbers, 317. So I'm quite happy with that. Ah, who else? Oh, Sunshine Leclerc, Donna. Donna was my very first swap partner. Thoroughly enjoyed doing that and hope to do some swaps with other people. Madonna Ballard, another one who is, what you see is what you get. Good on you, Donna. Wouldn't have you any other way. Uh, crochet Rocks, Tracy. And Slay the Day with Crochet, that's Tammy. So I'll link all these uh, in the description box. And if you saw my last video, you'll see that I've learned how to do that now. My son showed me uh, and I was able to do it. Now it's been a week since I did a, a video. So, you know, when you get to my age, you sometimes forget. So I'll do my best to remember how to, to link them. And hopefully you'll be able to uh, click on these links and see uh, these beautiful ladies uh, and their videos. Um, I've been getting to join some live chats since I came back. Uh, the time difference in Scotland was a bit uh, off, so I wasn't able to join in too many of them. But I've had fun on uh, Knit, Pearl and Squirrel with Danny, Granny D. Everybody knows Granny D. Uh, uh, Bag of Day with Crystal. Uh, the only thing I, I, I'm not comfortable with, with with the Crystal lives is that the chat goes by so fast you can't see what is being said. However, it's nice to just to watch her and to listen to her. Uh, I've watched Kitty Mom Crochet live with Penny and left is right crochet with Sandy. Um, Vlogist. I don't know about you guys, but I'm glad it's over. I couldn't keep up with all the videos. I just know it's something that I will never do ever. Too much work. No, I like to watch people and contribute a little bit, but I could not commit to something like that. Uh, on my last video, I mentioned that I brought some thistle and heather tea back from Scotland and uh, a few subscribers said they would like to try it. So I sent it off to them and I'm just waiting to hear back from them if they liked it or not. Uh, if anybody wants to try it, leave me a comment uh, and uh, I will get your email or your mailing address and send some off to you. I'm having a great time following Seta on her journey to Alaska. She's so brave, even after she fell and hurt herself. I love seeing her meeting with people and sharing all the fun things she sees and does. Did you see her milking a goat? Come on, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> uh, a couple of shout outs to a couple of our ladies who are feeling under the weather. Uh, Nicole from Alpaca My Yarn. I hope you're feeling better. Um, I know you are on the mend. Uh, just keep taking it easy. Don't rush things. And the same goes for Lama Mama Kayla. Um, take your time. Get well. We'll be waiting for you when you get back. Uh, what else? Oh, I need to challenge myself to make 
different styles of hats. That's one of the reasons I'm doing that Jada one. Uh, it's completely different. I usually just do plain old beanies. Uh, you start at the top and work your way down and Bob's your uncle. You've got it done. It takes no time at all. But I do need to challenge myself to, to do different patterns. So I've looked out a few. Uh, one of which is the divine hat that everybody has been showing. I want to try doing that. And the other thing I've got to get caught up on is my Jada and Stitches calendar blanket. Uh, I think I still have some trees to sew on. I've got the barn. I haven't even made the houses. Uh, the lighthouse. No, I haven't done that. Uh, I haven't done any, any of the extra little things that she's offered. Uh, you know, clouds and such. So um, once I get my uh, blanket finished for Mac, that'll be the one that I'm going to attempt to catch up on so that I can, you know, finish it at the end of the year. Um, I think that's about all I have for today. Oh, one other thing. I want to ask everybody to think positive thoughts uh, for my grandson, Jones. He's four and a half, and today he's undergoing some exploratory surgery. Uh, he has had croup so many times in his short life, uh, twice necessitating ambulance being called to get him to the hospital. Uh, other times, mum and dad just take him to the hospital to get him seen to. Uh, it's, he's been there so often now that the doctors have given her the medication that they give when he gets there to have in the house so that he can, um, so she, she can administer it if he needs it. The babies usually grow out of croup within the first couple of years, but he's going on four and a half, he's four and a half and he's still uh, very susceptible to it. So they're doing this exploratory surgery. Um, they have to put him uh, under and look down his throat to his larynx uh, to see if there's any scar tissue there. Uh, if, depending on what they find, they will come up with um, a prognosis and uh, treatment plan. So keep him in your thoughts. Um, he will be home today. He's uh, it's just a day, sur day surgery. Uh, the hardest thing I think uh, uh, for Jones will be not being able to eat anything because he is a healthy little boy and he likes to eat. So today he could only have apple juice. So mum said that she filled him full last night uh, so that he'd have lots of uh, in his stomach and uh, hopefully he'll be able to sustain himself on the apple juice until the surgery is done and he's home again. Um, I just want to end. I found, I've, I found this little book that I bought a while ago, Lady Plans, and in it there are little sayings. So my plan is to, uh, at the end of every video, share one of these quotes with you. I'm not going to do them uh, you know, not randomly pick them. I'm just going to take them as they come in the book. So the first one is, most smiles are started by another smile. Bear that in mind when you're out today. I'll say goodbye. See you later.